All right, I am back with question number 10. All right, number 10, let's see what we got coming in for you. Oh, excuse me. Okay, you are at a crossroads, going within, trying to figure out what it is that um, you should be doing. Should you be moving on? Should you be holding still? Uh, oh, I had a whole bunch of them flip here. Okay. Let's get them all out of here. All right. So currently right now, he's feeling very stuck. Uh, feels like he's trapped. There's no way out. But the universe is going, recognizing that he is feeling this way, that he is not seeing a way out. So they are sending in the tower to end um, a family situation. He has um, the Ten of Pentacles is the end with the tower. And this um, situation is that this is blowing up. This family situation is blowing up. Um, ten is coming to the end of that cycle. Um, the universe is stepping in to help him get out of this trapped feeling. Um, he is going to open up communication um, and openly discuss with you what is going on here very shortly. The Wheel of Fortune um, is showing up here in the upright. So good news. Cupid's arrow coming towards you very soon. Um, just, uh, yeah, the two of you will be celebrating very soon um, as far as your love. You'll be able to celebrate your love openly, um, communicate openly, uh, be with each other without having to... Uh, wonder what's going to happen with the other person. Um, you are currently at the crossroads, but if you wanted to be with this person in the future, this is what they come bearing. They come bearing gifts of love with the Ace of Cups, truth from the divine, and a stable foundation to start a relationship with. I do feel this is your soulmate, and um, and this will come back into a full union very soon um, with that wheel of fortune in the upright uh, the next moon cycle um, communication will open up uh, for the two of you so very good news number 10 um, the uh, king of panic or king of Raj just came out as well so both of you are vibrating at uh, you are vibrating at a very high level he will be right behind you after that tower moment comes in and no longer um, is he feeling stuck all right. Number 11. Okay. Okay, number 11. Sorry, my computer was wanting to freeze. I was trying to get it to come out of there. So um, right now you are... I gotta get all my cards here. So right now it looks very much, yes, you will. Uh, you got the Wheel of Fortune also with the Ace of Rods. New beginnings coming from this um, upswing of the wheel. Good luck coming your way. Good fortune you're coming way new beginnings, um, from this passionate, uh, passion that you have, um, you will be, um, very, very happy, very excited to know that, yes, I do see you, um, passing, uh, that. So, all right. Number 11, that is a big fat. Yes. Relax, breathe. It's going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to have uh, new beginnings here soon. You're manifesting into the reality, what it is that you so um, want to do with this world, in this world, and it will happen. So congratulations. All right, number 12. Okay. 
Okay. So um, here's that cappy right here on the bottom. A lot of King of Pentacles today. Um, the very next card out, the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So uh, very possibly could be somebody else in the picture. Um, I can't really tell unless I really were to go into it um, a little bit deeper. But no, you were not just a quest to be had. Uh, yeah, he he's thought about this a lot. There's a lot going through his mind. Um, he doesn't know whether the two of you could, you know, move closer together. Um, there's a lot of things just going back and forth in his mind. Um, most definitely, I do see, though, that he wants a connection. Um, eventually, uh, he... With the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles, this could be a relationship where it is you, them, and the Holy Spirit. You know, the Trinity, he sees you as um, a balanced individual, um, a lot of earth energy here, but you just bring him balance. Um, and he does see you as someone that he could be in a commitment with. Um, there's just a lot of anxiety around you moving there, him moving here, something along those lines. There's something about moving that he's really stressed out about. Um, but he does see that he could have a future with you, but there could be somebody else, um, in the picture or it's his job because there was a lot of pinnacles there. So he could, uh, just have, uh, his heart and mind in his work a lot. Uh, so, but I do see him eventually wanting a, uh, solid commitment from you. And the two of you to move closer together. Um, and I see that in the near future uh, within the year. Okay. And that was number 12. Number 13. Okay. Okay, about the legal issues, there's something that the two of you don't know about uh, that uh, there needs to be some digging done. There's something that um, is not coming to the surface, just it hasn't came to the surface yet, and it's going to solve a lot of these legal issues that the two of you are having. Um, there's something, uh, without knowing what kind of legal issues you're having, I'm just seeing the two of you digging, digging through like paperwork. There's something that you missed or something someone is hiding that is going to change the situation 100% uh, completely. Um, yeah, and once you once you figure out what that is, uh, once that comes to, to light, to air, um, you're going to... Um, be just fine. There's some financials or something being hidden. There's something with the finances or an earth sign is hiding something um, as far as your legal issues go. As far as the people that you are communicating with, um, yeah, I do see that if you wanted to um, work it out with one of these people that you will have the opportunity to uh, move forward to uh, to create and to um, to build something. Uh, I do see it being long distance. Yeah, you're gonna have to make a choice. But the wheel of fortune is here for you as well. So good things are coming your way. Your luck is about to change, especially with those legal issues. I feel if you find whatever that is that's being hidden, the wheel is going to turn things in the completely opposite direction, and you're going to finally be able to be happy again. You're finally going to be able to release uh, the stress of this legal issue that the two of you have been battling for at least a year. I see this like this time last year, like at least, but you will find success. Um, you could be going on a couple of years that you've been dealing with this. So yeah, um, keep digging. Uh, you're going to find something. All right. Thank you, number 13, for your question and donation. All 
Okay. All right, number 15. All right. So I can tell you your divine masculine right now is in a time of healing where he's about to be fully awakened um, to the truth of what this situation is, to the truth of who and what you are uh, to him. He knows how he feels about you. He knows uh, that um, this, the relationship with the two of you is different than any other um, but he has been very confused. The divine will step in. They will um, bring him out of this fog, out of this confusion and awaken him in the time of this hanged man. Um, he is going to reach out to you and communicate with you within the next eight days or eight weeks. Um, definitely not eight months. So um, within the next week to two months, he is going to open up communication with you. He is going to tell you that he is cutting himself out of a situation he's currently in. And finally, taking action. He's going to move forward after three years of not moving. This person is finally taking action because they are coming out of their awakening uh, uh, process. This is going to move very quickly. Um, they're going to come in very fast, very passionately. It, they're going to, he's going to act like nothing ever happened between the two of you. And that's okay with you because this will be a cause of celebration because this is your twin flame. He is coming back all in the upright, returning celebration, joy, happiness, engagements, and um, beginning a new uh, new life, new road with your twin because um, the divine is here blessing it. Finally taking action. Um, yeah, let go of the stress and worry of this. Um, and try not to be emotionally closed off when they reach out to you, um, but release the stress and, and anxiety. Um, it's causing you to uh, just be really emotionally tense and uh, release the doubt and he will return. He will communicate with you the next eight days to eight weeks. I'm seeing more like uh, between the eight days and eight weeks um, time frame. I'm seeing more three weeks. By the first week of February to the second week of February, I do see communication being made between the two of you, either text message, phone call, or email. All right. Thank you, number 15. Oh, and the, the card that just flipped out, the Ten of Cups. It will end in much happiness. Okay. Thank you, number 16. Okay. Um, I can already tell you yes, because I can pick up on your energy. You have very strong energy, and so do they. Um, this is a twin flame connection, no doubt. I can see your auras. I can see your energy. Um, but I will go ahead and pull cards for you. Um, most, together, most definitely 2019 is your reconciliation year. So um, your first card that came out was the Page of Pentacles, um, receiving an offer, receiving communication um, from uh, this person, um, from this earth sign. They had to get over a um, issue within their own life that was kind of breaking their heart, kind of kind of caused them some sadness. Um, they had to get over that before they could concentrate on reaching out to you about um, coming back together. They are going to um, come forward, like we all know, the Ace, Knight of Pentacles is slow, but um, they've done a lot of work in this time apart from you. They've done a lot of inner work, as have you, um, to heal that broken heart that the two of you have um, both suffered um, from different reasons, different things, but as well as just being separated from the two of you. But um, the star card is here with divine timing. 
um, also wishes coming true, stars aligning, and you're going to get a new, um, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with this person. Uh, let me see if I can get a time frame. And we'll just come back into reconciliation. Well, that just popped out. Twin flame, marriage. In the next four months, this will reconcile. Wow. Okay. Yeah, in the next two to four months, you will be hearing from this person. Uh, you most definitely, they are being awakened by the divine. You are being awakened to new levels of higher consciousness. Um, either way, this is blessed with the crown of source and, um, moving forward with the, uh, victory wreaths on the sword, having a solid foundation built on truth, um, twin flame connection, um, with your soulmate. And this will come, you will reconcile within the next four months, but I do feel in the next one to two months, communication is opening back up. You guys are starting to communicate again. And within four months, you will be living together. Thank you. Number 16. All right. Number 17. Okay. So you're highlighted 2019. You have more than one. Um, first and foremost, you are uh, letting go and um, healing over some secrets that caused you some heartache, some secrets that caused you to be uh, feel like you were deceived by somebody. You are getting over that uh, heartache. You are allowing that cycle to close. Um, oh my goodness. You have, you have so many things going on here. Um, the biggest highlight, uh, my angels are telling me is you are going to have a spiritual rebirth. Um, you are going to go through a process of ascension that is going to like, yeah, that's going to happen in, uh, June, June, you're going to go through a, um, spiritual rebirth. You're going to purge, you're going to release. Um, but most importantly, you're going to ascend. You're going to awaken to new, uh, awarenesses. Uh, you're going to reach higher spiritual, uh, plat you know, higher spiritual levels. Um, let me see here. Okay. You are going to have three individuals. Well, yeah. Three individuals that are wanting your attention in 2019. We have a water sign, a earth sign and an air sign. Um, this one is younger than you. The air sign, the, uh, earth and water are, uh, your age or slightly older. Um, but around the same age, this one is, uh, quite a couple years younger than you, five or more years younger, but they are all going to be, uh, wanting your attention, wanting your, um, wanting you to, choose them. You are going to have to make a choice between, um, more than one person. The exciting thing is here is that after you find healing from this rebirth and these secrets that caused you this deceit, um, this heartbreak, you are finding your true soulmate. Your true soulmate is coming in for you. That is a fire sign. And the year will end in a higher level of commitment, whether that be engagement or marriage in 2019, you are meeting your true life partner. This is somebody that you will be with till the end of your time on earth. This is your forever and always, and it's going to be a beautiful relationship, a beautiful commitment. So, um, don't fight that spiritual rebirth, um, because it's going to bring you to 
amazing levels of spirituality and you're finding your life partner in 2019. Those are your highlights. So good year for you, number 17. All right, number 18. Sorry, I'm just reading your, your email. Hmm. Um, number 18, I instantly get a bad vibe. I'm going to, uh, okay, just one second. Bad vibe. Bad, bad vibe. This is the person that has interfered. Not you, not him. Um, there, this person, uh, when these two cards come out together, especially when I'm asking what I'm asking based on your w email, um, this person practices uh, black magic, the dark side of magic. Um, with the devil and the moon coming out together, they uh, cast spells. They do moon magic. Uh, they, they just practice the dark side of magic. Um, just like magic, there is the light and the dark side as well. Um, this is not, this is, uh, I do believe, I do believe you were right about what you thought happened between the two of you. Because what happened is unjust. Uh, it's not fair. Uh, the two of you had a nice equal balance. The two of you uh, both thought of the relationship, the connection, the same. And then all of a sudden that he like flipped the switch, uh, you know, and this is a soulmate of yours from a past life. Um, you have met each other before. That's why you were dreaming of the, him at such a young age. Um My advice to you is to ask your angels to cut any um, spell, uh, any spells that are cast on you. Um, I'm going to send you to this email a ritual to break any spells uh, that you feel are casted on you, any psychic attacks. But most importantly, yeah, she did something deceitful. Um, most importantly, know that this is your soulmate. This is somebody from your past life. Your guys' connection, oh, and you are going to get your second opportunity at this. Your guys' connection and what you share is stronger than any spell that can be put on you in dark in dark magic. Uh, have the faith and believe enough for the both of you that your soulmate connection will be stronger than what she has uh, put on you. And, and then do this ritual I'm going to send you after I get done recording all these. Because if you believe your angels are stronger 
if you know that your angels are stronger, this will not be uh, kept apart. The stars will align and you will have this new beginning with him financially as well as emotionally. I do feel the two of you will be business partners and the wheel is about to turn for the two of you. But I do feel that you will have to do something to break this uh, spell or, uh, you know, it's just uh, psychic attacks really heavy um, with the moon and the devil. Ugh. So um, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't fear it because the divine is stronger. Their light is stronger. So just believe that your faith, your hope, your love is stronger than anything that she can do. And um, do that release. I'm going to send you and know that what is coming for you is far better than you could ever imagine. Um, and that this is your soulmate from a past life. Um, and this is meant to happen. And then, um, and that the divine will help you achieve this. But be watching for my email sometime tonight. Because um, I have a feeling this is going to take me a while. I have over 60 questions. So um, just be watching for that and know that it's going to turn out okay. And I do feel that the two of you will be business partners and more in the future. Okay, I'm going to stop this one here because I'm at 28 minutes. So um, this is up to question 18. I will put that in the description and um, I will be right back.